welcome to your TV for Education training with Michael. There are three screens in the TV for Education system that you need to understand. The first screen is the schools collection. This is where all the videos that are, have been chosen by teachers to be made available to students, made available to other teachers, and made available to parents if you give parents access to it. And it's called the school's collection. And this is what it looks like. Now, when anyone clicks on any video, it will come up over here on the right hand side. Okay, and you can play it. So this is the school's collection. The next item is the My Items button. Every teacher and every student has a My Items button. And these are the videos that teachers have added, which have ad landed up in the school's collection, but it'll also go into their individual My Items screen. Why do we do that? Because if you're a user and a heavy user and you've got teachers adding content all the time, you might have thousands of videos in the school's collection. You don't want to look at them, you just want to look at the ones you've added. Or as a student, you only want to look at the item that you've watched. You go to the My Items button for it. So that's the My Items button. And the third and final one is the most important one, and that is the TV for Education screen. This screen is very, very important because in here you will find over 150 items in this particular screen, 150,000 items. And you can go here and you can search and you can scroll left to right. And if you want to add anything, you just click the item. And what will happen is the synopsis will come up. Okay. It will disappear. And then if you wanted that video, you can watch it or you can click that star. And when you click that star, it gets added to the school's collection and it gets added to the my, your my item. Thanks for watching. If you need help with TV for Education, you can email us at support at functionalsolutions.com.au or you can go to our website and leave us a message or go to our support page on our website to get additional tips and tricks, training and how-tos.